What's well, up, B2 Capital G here? Got some really cool duels for you guys to check out. This is a very strange and unique build of Gaga -ga that actually spits out Link monsters like nobody's business. It's really a really interesting deck. I never would have thought of Gaga -ga as a deck that can actually throw a whole bunch of Link monsters on the field at a time. Multiple firewall dragons and everything. This is played by a good friend of mine, Grand Chavo Dunga, who also is a Yugi tuber. Most people call him GCD. Now, these duels were before the ban list because that kind of came out of nowhere so i believe that they both have that gusto emerald but this is obviously just for demonstration purposes don't take this seriously in fact i think that his opponent is playing ice barriers because some people still have an affinity for that deck for some strange reason i don't know maybe it's a dual terminal or something like that obviously if this looks a little different this is not YGO Pro Percy. This is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. Um, if people don't know how to get this and they're interested in getting Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2 and kind of figuring out how to how to play on here, I will make an explainer video um, later on in the week. But just want to give you guys some, uh, some nice link format duels because these are still really entertaining, even though you might see a couple of band cards uh, pop up and whatnot. Really nice to see some of these underappreciated archetypes. And this deck is super off the wall. Like, it has all types of crazy stuff. Not just the Gagaga -ga -ga monsters, but, yeah, he's running a lot of Gym Knights in here as well. This card, Alexandrite, will hit the field, and it'll do some interesting things. So let's go ahead and roll this and this is in 1080p i like the program so he's gonna summon he's gonna activate his uh brilliant fusion and you would generally think oh cap he's gonna clearly go for uh you know gym knights uh seraphronite no you're you've actually been pranked he does not go to seraphronite he goes for prismora and he goes for that because it's a level seven monster a lot of level sevens in this deck he's gonna upstart then he's gonna summon that alexandrite and what that allows him to do is alexandrite basically says you contribute it and you can summon a normal gym knight monster from your deck so he's gonna summon this big guy the gym knight crystal and he's actually you know he's in a position where he can actually summon a rank seven right now so that's what he does he goes into galaxy tomahawk and the cool thing about tomahawk is look at the field now tomahawk is basically able to spam tokens all over the field it basically has a built-in scapegoat on its effect and that's pretty good in link form that because that means you can turn it into a gaia saber you then can turn that gaia saber with another token into a firewall dragon he goes for link spider and then he's able to convert that into a proxy dragon so just off those two monsters he's able to convert them into link monsters that are obviously more powerful but firewall dragon is going to activate he's going to get gaga -ga uh magician on the field and then he's going to be able to get the gaga -ga child i believe he's going to activate the effect as well start doing some level modification yeah he does he's going to go in for digusto emerald that's going to summon the uh, gaia saber he goes for trigate wizard firewall dragon is not done yet he's gonna i believe he's yeah yeah he's gonna he's gonna exceed again for tomahawk part two <laughs> And he uses those tokens in the Tomahawk for a Firewall Dragon. Pretty pretty sneaky play there. Being able to bring back the Gaia Saber with Digusto Emerald. See, Konami, you shouldn't even have banned Digusto Emerald. And if you saw that play there, that was just so sad to watch. Obviously, his opponent activates the pot of desires thinking i'm gonna get back into the game but uh no actually you're not gonna get back into the game because uh trigate wizard if it is linked up with three different monsters it can negate a card or effect that's activated and you can banish that card so technically that was what like a neg 11 people like to say pot of desires is a neg nine that was technically a neg 11 uh that's kind of spicy and you can just kind of tell right here um he probably doesn't have anything unless he's playing like a mirror force he, he probably doesn't doesn't have much that can defend against this he's uh not going to die here by he actually uh, yeah you know what i i just realized because i was like how didn't he die it was because of the uh, upstart goblin upstart goblin keeps him in the game and you know what ice barriers might have some plays no 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 it's just kidding it's just it's, it's still ice barriers at the end of the day trigate wizard actually snipes out the uh storming mirror force and unfortunately he has to scoop at that point maybe if he would have been able to get the storming mirror force off it would have been different because gcd did have a dead allure me maybe he has the balls to just blind allure or something like that but but that's pretty much a wrap for that one. But we do have a second door to show you guys. And, of course, I will have the... Uh 
the what's it called I'll have the depth for this in the um, in the description of the video so for you uh, for you guys who are just kind of interested want to mess around I'm not sure if it'll work as good with that gusto emerald being like banned and whatnot here's another card that you saw in the first duel the ascended of thunder or we you know the Japanese name was the immortal hermit of thunder it's it's basically played in this deck because it's a level seven that you can instantly special summon it does come at a hefty price so you have to be careful with this card because it costs you 3,000 life points which you see gcd instantly does and once again he normal summons the alexandrite and that's able to get a normal gem knight monster and he's able to just get six monsters like that off the field or onto the field and he kind of goes for the same setup here a little bit different the way that he's going for his Gaga guys, but kind of the same result going for Digusto Emerald, pulling out the Saber. And uh, this field is, if I'm not mistaken, is not going to have double firewall. So, not quite. No, it is going to have double firewall. Just shut me up. <laughs> double firewall and tri gates. But I don't believe the. Yeah, the tri gate is not linked with three, so it doesn't have that negate effect. But if all you can do is summon. Uh, you know, like a, a car trooper and you can't really do anything and that's pretty much game. <laughs> he uses Gaga Ga Revenge, his little uh, premature burial for Gaga guys. And uh, oh yeah, that's right. This guy was randomly playing Gores. I remember that. I was like, oh snap. <laughs> He's gonna Gores him, but no. He goes into the triple firewall dragon. Firewall dragon is so balanced. <laughs> and he bounces the Gores and the token. <laughs> when I saw the Gores, I was like, oh snap. This is the comeback, Rip. <laughs> It's not actually the come that he summons uh that Gaga Ga sister yeah and that's uh that his opponent says too much man Gaga Ga sister way too much the reason that I said that could have been the comeback is because GCD was only at 2,000 life points, and clearly Gores is bigger than Firewall Dragon, but when you have three Firewall Dragons to deal with, like, it's, it's too many cards that they can just bounce, and Firewall Dragon can just start bouncing like crazy, so he ends up just bouncing the Fire, or the Gores and the Gores token back to his opponent's hand, and uh, he scooped because he did have three Firewalls on the field, and even though he has Gores, he doesn't have the life points to take any more attacks. He's at 2,500, so if any of those Firewall Dragons hit him directly, it's pretty much GG. So, hope you guys guys enjoyed this um it might take me a little while to kind of get the full hang of YGO Pro with like how the graveyard interacts and stuff like that but I'm pretty much just gonna let you guys know I'm kind of done doing like Def Pro and uh, Percy uh, duels until they actually update I'm sure when they update it'll be fantastic but until that actually happens I'm just going to stick to YGO Pro 2 so for those of you guys who have YGO Pro 2 duels if you have some really good ones just go ahead and submit them to me uh, my email is in the description of every one of my videos it has been that way for like a year and then for those of you guys who don't have the program and just are interested in playing it you want to know how it works and whatnot or you, you're interested in getting it just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will make a video trying to explain it I just I'm just trying to work out one kink when it comes to updating the cards I've got everything like I've got the new ban list on here and everything like that I'm just trying to work out the last little kink uh, a buddy of mine GCD the same guy he told me how to update it during my live stream but I just like wasn't paying attention and now it's biting me in the butt because I'm like why didn't I pay attention anyways thank you guys for watching as always and uh, subscribe if you have not already turn on the notifications for daily videos